Sometimes I feel like I lead a double life. One day, I'm writing books and making up characters with weird names like Bran Hambrick or Suey Willemus or Callista Stewart. The next day, I'm dressed up in a suit and running my own business and being a professional adult who acts professionally amongst similar professionals. And then the next day... What is your favorite type of cookie? White chocolate chip. Blogger, author, entertainment personality. Caleb Nation. Caleb Nation. Caleb Nation. There he is right now joining us, Caleb Nation. <laughs> okay, maybe I have a triple life. This is my girlfriend, Taylor. Hi! Oh yeah, I got braces, 8.15 Central Time. BFF Taylor is a 13-year-old Georgia girl. <laughs> Explain what, what life casting is. What is life casting? Uh, life casting is like, basically you do anything that you'd normally do, only you would film it. Always out in public shouting, I'm a dweeb. We'll write a song. Basically, Taylor and I are a couple that was made by YouTube. I met Taylor years ago at the first Playlist Live convention in Florida ever. Back ever. Ever. And we were kind of in each other's friend zones. We talked about pink cows and Santa Claus. And then after a while, Taylor, she did a cameo in one of my music videos. <laughs> Fast forward a bunch of years, and we're at VidCon, and, and for some reason we started dating. I don't know. It was the day before the first day of VidCon, and I'm just walking into the Hilton Hotel, and all of a sudden, this girl runs up to me from out of nowhere and says, "Date me!" And I thought she was joking. I was. I, I really thought she was. I was. Were you really though? Because I really was. There were a lot of people at the party, and I didn't want to lose her, so somehow, I guess, did I grab your hand or did you grab mine? You grabbed my hand. I just grabbed her hand because I didn't want to get lost. I didn't want to lose her inside of the crowd, and uh, I just never really let go. I said, look, before you leave, it was the day before you were leaving, right? Yeah. I said, I want to take you out on a real date. So the date that I had was I, she came over to my place, and I cooked for her. And after that, I had a very, very special date idea that for some reason I knew would really connect with Taylor. And so then he was like, I have a surprise, I have a surprise for you. I'm like, okay, it's a surprise, okay. We get out of the car and the sun is setting and then we're at the Hollywood sign. He has his camera and he starts taking pictures of us and we're just up there. And then he starts talking to me and he's like, you know, I really like you, but I swear I'd never get into a long distance relationship again. And he was like, he was like crying, he was. My heart's racing, like, I don't know why I like Caleb like this, but for some reason, all of a sudden, I do. And he's like, will you be my girlfriend? And I'm like, okay, let me just think about the past, like, three days I've been in Los Angeles. What the heck happened? And I said yes. And then we started dating. And we've been doing that ever since. <gasps> A few months later, I moved to Hollywood. And then I liked the apartment building so much that I was like, you should totally move into this building too. So then a few months later again, I moved here. When you put it all together, I dreamed very big. I worked very, very hard for a very long time. And I actually got to do most of the stuff that I've always dreamed of doing. And on top of that, I got a really cute, awesome, smart, funny girlfriend to go along with it. So obviously the next step for me is... A puppy! <laughs> Selfie. We decorated Selfie's house One Direction style, and she's been staring up at Zane dreamily all day long. Silly puppy. Hey Selfie, what you dreaming of? Oh look, you dreaming of Zane. Is that your favorite member of One Direction?
We're on our way to a very, very secret thing that's going on, which I haven't been able to talk about at all. This is like, it's driving me insane. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by a casting agency that said that Taco Bell wanted me to come in and audition for one of their national commercials. And I've never been in a commercial before. I just thought, okay, I'm gonna go there and, and I'll try this out and see what happens. There's like 200 other people who are auditioning for the part. And so I just kind of went in there and I did my best. Two days later, I get a phone call all of a sudden from the casting agency and they say, hey, uh, this is a callback and we want you to come in and meet some of the producer people and do it again Then all of a sudden the next day early in the morning my phone starts ringing and it's the casting agency and The guy on the phone tells me you got the part So now I'm on my way to my first national commercial ever for Taco Bell and it literally could not be a better first commercial ever because Taco Bell, as you probably know from my tweets, Taco Bell is like my best friend ever. I love Taco Bell. Taylor, you're my best friend ever, but you know, Taco Bell, they're love me in a video as much as you have Taco Bell before. Taco Bell has like six videos and like hundreds of tweets and I have like two tweets that I favorited. I think my girlfriend is getting jealous of Taco Bell. but it kind of looks like one of those awesome movie towns. But look, this is a real place. There's actual stores over there, it's not a set. I wonder if they actually design cities over here like that, where it's, they look so perfect and clean and people can just walk everywhere, specifically because they know people will come and film commercials and films over here. <laughs> no, I can't stop believing that wishes still come true. This life is what you make it, and I want Number one, always bring a phone charger. I completely forgot to bring anything to charge my phone. And of course, vlogging uses the most energy on my phone, so my phone's almost dead, and I haven't even gone on set yet. <laughs> Look at me, I'm clutching this because it's so tickled. <laughs> my life. First episode of Nation tomorrow because Woo! I wanted to include all of you guys in it. Did anybody hear me? No. Okay, no. tell me about cake. We'll eat cake. cake. Yes. Lately I've been feeling lower than a limbo stick and go. Stressing out all about the things I know I can't control. But Selfie? If you're like me 